for choosing the Cavo Nomad Pro 2 as your X-ray solution. The purpose of this video is to educate you on techniques for safe handling of the Nomad for you, your patients, and for the public. This video is intended as a supplemental training to your manual. It is also advised to take the operator's exam included in the training materials. In some jurisdictions, the successful completion of an operator's exam is required before use please consult with your jurisdiction for specific requirements. The Nomad is constructed with an innovative internal shielding which encases the X-ray tube and effectively blocks radiation. This makes it safe to use the Nomad as a handheld X-ray device when used correctly. The Nomad also has a lead-infused acrylic shield which is used to protect against backscatter. The backscatter shield is adjustable and can slide along the collimator. For safety, the shield is permanently affixed and cannot be removed. When held properly, the backscatter shield can provide an effective, protective zone in which the operator can safely stand while operating the Nomad. The protective zone for the Nomad is 6.5 feet high by 2 feet wide. It is important that the operator remain in the protective zone as much as possible. To receive the maximum benefit of the protective zone, it is important that the backscatter shield is parallel to the operator and not angled when positioning. Ensure the shield is all the way forward on the collimator and hold the unit as close to the patient as possible when exposing an image. If you need to angle the Nomad or adjust the backscatter shield and cannot be completely within the protective zone, we recommend you wear a lead apron. It is recommended that even when wearing a lead apron, keep your elbows close to your body when operating the device. As a security measure, the X-ray feature on the Nomad can be disabled or locked when not in use and when stored after use. You can lock or unlock the X-ray feature by pressing and holding down the select button, then pressing the patient button. The device shifts into an X-ray locked state and the buttons can then be released. Notice the X-ray locked message at the bottom of the display. Repeat the process to unlock the X-ray feature. Before taking an X-ray, there are a few safety features you should know. First, determine what settings on the Nomad that will deliver the optimal results for the patient. This includes the patient's size, image receptor type, tooth group, and exposure time. As a safety feature, you must first enable the device to create an exposure. To do this, you must pull the trigger once and then again to make your exposure. Do not enable the Nomad until the patient and operator are positioned properly and ready for the exposure. This includes covering the patient with a lead apron or taking other safety precautions according to your location requirements. Do not make an exposure if anyone other than the patient is in the direct beam. Ensure that any other person other than the patient and the Nomad user are at least six feet away from the direct beam. Do not make an exposure if there are personnel in the room unless they are required for assistance and wearing the appropriate protective apparel. Hold the Nomad using two hands as shown with your elbows in for increased stability and increased patient safety. Avoid touching the patient with the cone or backscatter shield. Always sight through the shield and not over or around it. This ensures you do not lean out of the protective zone. In between exposures, you can either set the Nomad down or cradle the device in one arm. Cradling allows you to safely use your hands while positioning without having to put the Nomad down. To power off the Nomad, press and release the power button or the Nomad will automatically turn off after approximately three minutes of inactivity. Congratulations! You've completed this short safety video for your Cavo Nomad Pro 2.